Adam, welcome back to the UK. Uh, how do you process, you know, running a 349 mile out there and coming into the domestic championships like this when you've got Glasgow, you know, potentially coming up as well? Yeah, hopefully Glasgow is coming up. Um, it's one of those things where you always, over the last few years, going into a call room and seeing someone with a PB, you know, similar to what I have now run, is kind of, it always seems like those guys who are at that sort of level, not that by any means I'm at, at you know, the, the top, not where I want to be yet, but it always seems like they've got it all figured out and they wouldn't be nervous and coming into a heat, they'd be super relaxed. But today, it's honestly quite the opposite. Like, I was out there pretty nervous for this and you know deep down you should be fine, but it's just one of those things where you know you've got a job to do and you've got to go out there and execute. And it, it's not going to be easy, and that definitely wasn't completely easy. But uh, yeah, you know, did what I had to, got the job done, and glad to go through. So to the naked eye, that looked quite a seamless heat generally. And when you've got an event like Elrose and you've run so well with that, does that change your perspective of, kind of the situation around the UK and the domestic champs, or is there no complacency still? Yeah, definitely, definitely no complacency. I mean, I think that's probably a mistake few people make. Um, the UK is so strong right now, and I've got a job to do today to get through and then a job to do tomorrow to um, get myself on the team and it's, it's never going to be easy. Um, and yeah, I mean it's just a completely different race to, to Melrose. Melrose I was trying to get in there and hang on for dear life and run as fast as I could um, and it worked out really well whereas this is championship racing, I've just run 346 uh, for a 1500 won my heat but it's just a completely different feeling lining up for a race where you know you've got to be in the top five to go through to tomorrow and then tomorrow everyone wants to win so Milrose I knew I was a long shot to get the win obviously um, with that field it was just kind of hang on for dear life where tomorrow is going to be do everything I can to put myself in a position to win and uh, yeah see what I can do just quickly on Milrose like did you go into that race thinking that you could end up like did you I wasn't really I didn't really know those stats before the race um, you know I knew I, I said to a few people I think if I get everything right and feel good and the race goes well for me and I I do all I can tactically and put myself in good spots I think I could break 350 um, and I would need everything to go my way and it worked out I knew that was possible but I needed it to go really, really well for me. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I just wanted to make the most of the opportunity. It's my first time in a field like that, and um, I was really, really happy with the way it worked out. And finally, for me, like when you came into 2024, like what you've done so far, you could have believed that you were this start ready, and you know the goals that you've got for the rest of the year. Obviously, the Olympics, and everyone knows the events that need to be one of the events of the year. Yeah. Just slowly, but in the UK as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's Oh, it's, it's absolutely unreal. I think now we've got six guys with the, the Olympic standard. Um, I have always believed I could get to kind of that sort of time eventually. Um, I've always kind of said I just need to be in the right race, to get in the right race and get dragged along like that. Because I've been in a couple of fast races, but I've never really had anything like that. That field, a uh, reasonably small field, you know, not not too many bodies in there. Like, I had a couple of opportunities last year, one of them Ostrava, which ended up being a little bit slower than I think was planned. Um, like, Germa won that race in 3.33, and he ran 3.29 three days after that. So, um, I ran 3.35 there. I thought I could have gone a bit quicker this last year. Um, so I've always kind of had this sort of time like on my mind, but I didn't, I didn't think I'd run it in February. That's for sure. I did not think I'd be in this spot. But here we are, and hopefully that's a good sign for the year.